Hello everyone, this is Danny from Elfbub. Today I would like to share the communication with the battery and the inverter. When pack up the battery pack, we will send you two communication cables. One is for CAN communication. It's for like a Deye Growat, this kind of inverter. And this one is for Votronic inverters. The pin outs is different. So today I would like to share the Watronic inverter, how to get the battery communication with the inverter. Uh, the first step is to connect the inverter positive and negative terminal to the battery positive and negative terminal. And then, then we, we connect the uh, communication cables. You can see the details. This is the battery side, RS485, and this is the inverter side. We will make the labels on the cables. So we put the inverter side to the second port, and put the battery side to RS485. Okay, then the ADS, because it's uh, only one battery, we put the first one on and open the battery. Okay, this one is our 7-inch touch screen and with three different languages, English, Chinese and Arabic. Let me show you the Arabic. When you uh, get connect with the inverter, you can choose the BMS protocol here. It's RS485 and choose Watronic. So it's already choose Watronic. And uh, let's come to the battery, uh, inverter side. Okay, it's turned on. Waiting for inverter side, you long press the on and off buttons and the lights on. You choose the lithium tap. This is the frequency. Okay, the battery type is lithium battery, LIB. And when you choose this one, you're back to the home page. Here with the SOC show. It's the same as the battery side. So that means the battery already get communication with the inverters. The communication finished. So if you have any questions about how to get battery communication with the inverters, just feel free to call us. This is Danny from FBUB. Bye-bye.